Hey guys, how you going? Uh, Bobby Quiney and, and obviously the great Petty Siddle here. Just look, hopefully you all know that we're in the uh, the Ford Ranger Cup final this coming Sunday. Uh, we're just appealing to you guys to come down, have a bit of a look. We're actually playing Tasmania, Pete, um, and so far so good against Tassie this year. First game, we got off to a winning start with Finchie and uh, and Haysto. Yeah, we did. Yeah, they did a great. It was a great run chase. Obviously, we chased down 300. Finchie got uh, got an 80 odd, and um, Haysto yeah, a 40 odd. And it was just uh, yeah, obviously a great uh, performance by them guys, and especially being the young guys of the team to stand up and yeah, get us over the line. It was um, great to see. I reckon that almost kick-started Finchie's season as well. Um, and as you said, an amazing chase of 301, and and to do it with those two young blokes is amazing. And then we travelled to, to Hobart to play at Bell Reeve, and uh, look, Hodge's innings outstanding, wasn't it? Oh, he's a superstar. He's the he's the bloke we all love at Victoria, and uh, yeah, another another hundred for him, 130 odd there, and just another one. Oh, just another one for the year, and as he keeps on doing, just rolling them out. So hopefully, yeah, if you can come and cheer him along and. Get him another one in the final. It'll be great to see. I think he'd be itching for a for a final hundred. That'd be that'd be good. And, and obviously Huss batted well that game, um, and tried his best to, to drop a catch that he that head butted back into his hands. Did you see that? Yeah, I did see that. Did have a bit of a laugh about it. But yeah, he ended up hold, holding that, and it was a good turning point. And then yeah, to get a quick fire ninety as he does, always above a runner ball, which is what we like to see, and which you spectators will like to see as well. So I think if you can come and yeah, obviously cheer him along as best as possible, and hopefully uh, get another victory, which would be very nice. Look, the boys uh, are keen as mustard to get out there and, and firstly play the yeah. game and, and win. You know, we've been in a few finals and been a bit unsuccessful uh, last few seasons, so I've got a really good feeling about this one, Pete. Um, yeah. Fingers crossed that I, I can get through a fitness test and play, <laughs> but also that, more importantly, that, that we win. So um, are you going to come down and watch? Yeah, I'll definitely be there, obviously. Yeah, I think it's the last four finals we've been a part of, and... Unfortunately, we haven't been able to get over the line, so hopefully this time, yeah, if uh, we can get a big crowd there, get a lot of support like the 2020, and uh, yeah, we can get, get behind the boys and yeah, help them over the line this time and get, finally get the victory, and hopefully in the, by the end of the year we can go for the third final and go for the big treble, which would be very nice. would be outstanding. And look, I think it's going to be a great day. It's going to be sunny, perfect day for a Sunday session. Starts at 2.15, day-night game. Look, one-day cricket. I think it's still alive. Oh, definitely. And especially if you call in, call in sick on Monday after a, after a few too many in the afternoon. And then, who knows, maybe you might be able to catch up with the boys celebrating that night. So I think it'd be a good opportunity to get there and um, have a few drinks and support the boys. Hope to see you there. See you later.